What's up? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below to support the channel. Thank you. So here I have a post from McFarland Toys and he asks who rises from last week. Now clearly this is a Batman figure and there was a lot of comments within this post that asked why another Batman figure. The bottom line is this, Batman sells and I have to say myself, I was very much so excited to see this figure. Now there was a third party reveal of this figure, someone obviously got it from a factory and posted it, it looked like it had a broken foot and one less hand than what we're seeing here. So McFarlane was sort of pushed into releasing official images of this figure from three days ago. I have to say I really like this. I hope McFarlane goes pinless eventually because I think that would look even better. And I really do think that he's listening to fans about the torso sculpt being very much so linked in with the hip section. And that it's not a massive torso and a massive cut. I think that this looks really good. And very cool. And this is something that Todd's going to excel at. He's going to excel at monstrous looking characters. But that wasn't it. He wasn't finished there. And we've gotten a reveal now. Of Superman from Blackest Night. Now I really like this story. And I think that this can lend itself. To a lot of different characters coming forward. You could get Blue Lanterns. Yellow Lanterns. Red Lanterns. And if the leak is to be believed. The build a figure for this wave is going to be Atrocitus, which I'm very excited about. I absolutely love the character Atrocitus. So I think it's odd that it's not going to be Necron or even maybe Black Hand. But look, I'm happy to get Atrocitus in the line 100%. Going on this now, I'll talk about Superman in a second. Also in this wave, it's supposedly going to feature Deathstorm. And it's also going to feature either Kyle Rayner or Guy Gardner. So that seems to be a bit of a question mark around who the fourth figure is going to be in this wave. A lot of people have posted comments and they're completely right about where is the ring for Superman. So this is Superman from Blackest Night. So it's a beautiful looking sculpt. I think it looks great. And like I said, he is doing really well with the torso now linking into a lower section. I would love to see him get this, as I call it, nappy. Americans will call it diaper under control and for that to be tighter as well too so is that it's just a lot more seamless and just looks a lot better in my view but a fantastic looking head sculpt here but the big question on everybody's lips is this where's the ring he's supposed to have a power ring on his left hand and it doesn't seem to be here now McFarlane is getting more and more used to reusing hand and head sculpts and body sculpts now which is fine because you have to build up a catalogue but leaving something as important as a ring out on a figure here is not good enough in my view. Now, I am aware that these are promotional images and that it's subject to change. And hopefully he does hear the fan feedback and does put a ring on this figure because I think it's very important. I mean, it's a Black Lantern. It should feature a ring. But this looks like it's going to be a very good wave. I'm very excited about it. I'm more so excited about the Batman. Batman is my favourite DC character. Probably closely followed by Superman. And then the Flash and Green Lantern are kind of a toss up between those two. I really like them. But I'm delighted to see more Lantern figures being inducted into the DC multiverse. Because I'd love to see more Red Lanterns, Yellow Lanterns. Even Larflees. I think Larflees would be excellent and it would do very well under McFarland's brand, given what he looks like. So I'd love to see it, and I'd love to build out those cores. But I am also understanding that Batman is the biggest seller, and he's going to do various different iterations of Batman. But I have to say, looking at these two sculpts here, they look absolutely wonderful. I really do like that Superman one. I think that that is just horrific looking as a portrait, and I think it would be fairly scary looking on the shelf, particularly with those red eyes. I think he's done really well with those. I'm looking to see the rest of the wave. I'm looking forward to see the rest of the wave. And like I said, if it's Deathstorm and if it's Kyle Reiner, I'd be very happy. I'd be much happy with Guy Gardner. I prefer him, to be honest with you. But if it's, say, for example, a White Lantern, Kyle Reiner, maybe, or something like that, or maybe even just a Green Lantern, Kyle Reiner, I think that would lend itself well because I think this is a multi-wave line that could be done with Blackest Night the possibilities for this are endless and i think a lot of fans out there will like it but i'd like to see the sculpts being updated the articulation being updated i wonder if he's going to give us a tie cut here i personally hope he doesn't because i don't really like tie cuts because i think it breaks up the sculpt but if there's a twist going here at the hip that's absolutely fine i hope we get multiple pairs of hands as well and maybe even a construct for each figure 
maybe that's something that's going on with the superman figure and might be coming with a construct and i think that that would be exciting too if these figures came with constructs and he could lend himself to doing some really out there constructs so if they did this for a wave one and then maybe with wave two had like black hand and a build a figure necron and then had even like two or three waves to build that necron because he's quite a large character that'd be absolutely fine but this is a good start but and i'm absolutely hyped to see atrocitus i'm very much so looking forward to it so anyway that's the two new reveals from the dc multiverse that i'm very hyped about i'm looking forward to this i'm 100 on board with this and i like the fact as well that he's hiding the ball joints here a lot more with the likes of the forearm guards that he's doing lately i think that this is wonderful very much so looking forward to this so anyway what do you think of these figures are you excited to see them what do you think about the ring currently being omitted from mcfarland do you think that it's worthwhile people contacting them on the likes of social media letting them know do you think that we'll see a change what do you think about the build figure being atrocitous would you have rather seen necron would you like to have seen black hand in this wave what do you think about the possible leaks of Deathstorm and Kyle Reiner being in this wave? What do you think about that? And what other lanterns would you like to see be included in the DC Multiverse line? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out those links posted in the description down below to support the channel. Due to the limiting of the truth on this platform, make sure you're following me over here on Odyssey and on Rumble. Thank you. Make sure you're following me over here on Gab at Ninja underscore Knight and over here on Getter at The underscore Ninja Knight.